Coming up, we've got a good matchup on tap between our visitors and our home team. Brandon Gunn and Charles Davis with you from our broadcast perch. And Charles, as we get this thing started, what are you going to be keeping your eye on? Special teams. Field position is always a big determiner in a ball game. Who sets their offense up for success the best? That team will win the game. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. This will be taken in at the one. Spinning past him. And he'll take this one near the 25, caught at the 26-yard line. So here come the Browns for their first drive on offense. And out will come the leader of this offense, and that, of course, is their signal caller. And what I'm looking for from him today, the things every quarterback is looking to do lead his team to a victory. Doesn't matter whether he's throwing it, running it, handing it off, however he has to do it, as well as exhibiting some leadership, that's what he's trying to accomplish. On first and 10, Jones firing quickly here, and that's complete. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. That'll move the sticks for the Browns, a gain of 12. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Switch, switch. This is Davis. Looking for a seam, but finding none. He'll get back to the line of scrimmage, and that's it. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. So after the run for no gain, here's second and ten. Now Jones. And a quick throw here, that's complete. And he'll be taken down at the 46-yard line. That was a nicely run slant route, and what the receiver's trying to do is make the defender think he's going upfield for a deeper route, and then breaks it off, usually after about three to four steps, and cuts towards the middle of the field, and now what he's trying to do is use his body to keep the defender away from the football and give the quarterback a really nice target. Looking left side, it's complete, he's got it. And he's got the first down before being taken down at the 46. Got to say, I was a little surprised to see him, Charles, come out in the shotgun on third and less than a yard. Yeah, but the way the NFL is nowadays, we hardly ever see anyone really run for it on short yardage. So they're going to throw the football more times than not. That was a nice, easy rhythm throw right there, and they pick up the first down. So into Cardinal territory now. It's first and 10 at the 46. Throwing Jones. Almost able to intercept it. That's one he would have liked to have held on to on this first drive. Instead, second down. And this defensive line will be looking to control the point of attack. And that's what they've done throughout this season. This is a terrific unit. They play together very, very well, and they don't permit big plays to happen. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. They'll run it now out of the gun. And this time he's going backwards. So after the no gain on the last attempt, here they get him behind the line. And the big fella stuffed that one up in a big way. I think doubling him has to be a priority because you can't move up to the next level if you don't take care of him first. On 
third down. It's right, and not even back to the line of scrimmage this time as they're on him quickly once more. Tough sledding. They lose a yard there on third. Doubling this guy has to be a priority before moving up to the next level because the big fella, he just ate that one alive, just stuffed it. In fact, before the game, he was talking to us, and he's like, hey, these pants make me look fat. And we said, nah, man, you're just a whole lot of guy. He is at well over 300 pounds. He's a big man. The Browns send out their punter now. As the first drive of the game stalls out, he's on the punt. And no return possible here as they angle this one out of bounds. So here come the Cardinals now for their first drive. And they will be led out by their 6-3 quarterback. And what I enjoyed in preparing for this game was talking not just with the coaching staff, but with him as well. And I found it interesting that the coaching staff sees him one way, and he sees himself in an entirely different way. Yeah, one thing he said he's always working on, he's, we know he's not bad at this, but his footwork always wants to improve that, and that's something he's going to focus on here. And what was so funny, what the offensive coordinator say right off the top? He's got great footwork. Yeah. Love his footwork. So this guy is never satisfied. <laughs> Throwing on first down. Daniels. Quick hitter here, it's complete. A gain of six there on first. In so many ways, throwing the hitch route is actually one of the safer things an offense can do. Get the ball out to the receiver as fast as possible, hope he's got man-to-man -man coverage, and hope that his athleticism wins on the perimeter. Six yards was the pickup on the last completion, so here's second and four. Second and four. Over the middle into traffic, and that's complete. Seven yards there and a first down. I think defensively you're okay with that. You're in the first quarter. He's going to get some catches, but they rallied to him quickly. And that's what you count on, and I like what you just said. First quarter, can you do it all game long? They catch it, you tackle them, they go down on the spot. Because when you're able to do that, you don't give up big chunks of yardage after the catch. Now you put the offense in a position where every series they have to work hard to pick up first downs, and you tend to stall them out when you do that. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. And when this offense is clicking on all cylinders, the running back is in sync as well. The focal point. Runs, catches, blocks, sets a tone for the offense. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. Operating from the gun, Daniels firing quickly here, and that's complete. And he'll go down right around the 47 this time. Six yards is the pickup, and that'll lead to a third down. It's a game of matchups, and that's why you take your receivers and move them around a bunch, especially your best guys. And when they work out of the slot, you often hear the coaches talk about how great it is because it gives you a two-way go. You can break out or you can break in. That makes it hard to defend. Over the middle, complete. It's Bowers. And they're going to have another first down as he's going to be tackled at the Browns 36. How about the start throwing the football? Four for four on this opening drive. Oh, he's slinging it. And oftentimes when you talk about slinging it, you're thinking about a guy throwing it all over the yard, not necessarily accurately. In this case, though, he's honing in on his targets, and he's delivering. Yeah, the opening script. However, they drew it up for this first drive, going to plan so far. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Back to throw, Daniels. And the Browns pressure gets to him that time, and he's going to go down. There's a little bit of defense right there. Nickel set, five defensive backs. They just snuffed out every route that was going. Quarterback never got rid of the football. Assume this defense will be charging again here. It's second and 15. Second and 15. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Bowers. They'll get nine there as that sets him up better for third down. 
They gave up the completion there, but this is what zone defenses count on. Catching the ball and not much run after the catch. Seventh play of the drive upcoming here on third and six. From the gun, Daniels. And he finds Cook. And he'll take it into the end zone. Touchdown, Atlanta. A great play there. 33 yards as his guys are able to strike first here in this opening quarter. An ideal start for them, really. You force the punt, and then you go down and score. And you've got to see a fist pump on the sideline from the head coach, don't you? Because he's turned into his bench, and he's telling his team, this is how we prepare. Force the punt, go downfield and score. I told you guys, it's just like a boxer in the gym preparing for the fight. Now we get to turn it all loose. Now the try here for the point after. And the Cardinals will go up seven to nothing. So that drive in total eight plays. And the Cardinals cap it with a touchdown. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. This will be taken in at the one. Now a hit and a loose football. And the Cardinals have got it going the other way. And a terrific return as he takes this thing all the way down near the 20-yard line. So a teammate picking him up there, that was nearly disaster. And the way that you coach these things, you want to make sure you have eyes towards the return guy because you want to make sure that the catch is secure. And a lot of teams do that. They have at least one guy. Okay, you're responsible for making sure he secures the catch. He's not always the one that makes the recovery, but he can always sound out the alarm. Hey, ball's on the ground. We've got to get it back. And this is one of those bang-bang plays, Charles. Did the knee hit first or did the ball come out first? This is where you need that 20-20 eyesight, don't you, Brandon? You've got to see which one happened first. If the knee hit the ground, then they will keep possession. The Cleveland offense ready to go. They punted last time they had it. What steps, Charles, do you think they have to take to make sure they don't do that again? Well, let's just go to the football 101, the trade expression 101. Win first down. Make five, six, seven yards on first down and make it a second and three, second and manageable. Keep accumulating first downs that way. Keep moving the football. You don't want to get behind the sticks because then the defense has the advantage. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and ten. Here's Jones operating from the gun. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. 20-10, touchdown, Tampa Bay. A big play there, 77 yards as his guys are on the board here in this first quarter. As a former DB, you might not like to see that, but from a wide receiver's perspective, those are the plays they dream of. Correct on both counts, <laughs> all right? Because once he took off, I mean, let's face it, that should have been done in big sky country. There aren't any speed <laughs> limits out there, and off he went. Glad I wasn't the one trying to chase him.
Now for the point after. It's good, and we're all tied at seven apiece. Pretty clean and simple there. Just two plays with a long pass resulting in the touchdown on play number two. So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. This fielded at the two. And a pretty good return here. He'll be stopped just shy of the 25 at the 24-yard line. Atlanta now coming out on the field. And they're hoping to redo their efforts in the last drive when they got into the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline. Because when you score a touchdown, you have to go over and look at the tablet and see what you did on the last drive. When you scored points, it's a whole lot better view than when you're trying to figure out how to fix things there. Ready, ready. Moody Bates. They will run for the first time here with White. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. Partner, your thoughts on this D-line? I love a unit that can control the run and get after the passer. This is an all-around terrific defensive front. Hard to move the ball against them on the ground, and then when you want to throw it, look out. Here they come after the quarterback. After the pickup of five, here's second and five. Second and five. He's got Burton here. It's a gain of 11 and a Cardinal first down. To win any route, you've got to break down the defender, and that's exactly what happened here on this really nicely executed curl route. Here we go. Set 50, plant. First down, here's White. And he'll be taken down across the 50 at the 45 in enemy territory. That goes for 14 yards. First down, Cardinals. At this stage of the game, the run pass numbers are a little bit out of whack because most of the yardage has come through the air. But in a sense, that just sets things up for big runs like that because the defense might be a little bit off balance. They pick up another first down with that run. So a first and 10 upcoming from Brown's territory now at the 45-yard line. They go right back to White here on first down. And able to push forward for right around three yards down to the 42. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. These two teams all tied after one. That'll be a loss of a yard, and it leads to a third down. If you're a selfish player and you're throwing the ball, you're cool with the completion. Maybe not so cool with the yardage loss, though, huh? Yeah, you went, you went backwards on the yardage. Hey, it kind of works like a sack for the defense there. Yeah, it's a really big play for them, right? Able to figure it out, sniff it out, and finish it off. need to get to the 35 if they want to keep this drive going on third down. 
Off the play fake. Daniels. And yeah, this is going to be caught. He won the fight for the football. And they're going to have another first down as he's going to be tackled at the Browns 21. He's such a good route runner. Shows it there on third down. Very proficient and a good pass. And you know what I've observed over the years in the NFL? The better a route runner you are, the more confidence your guy's going to have in you to go to you in important times because he can trust you being in the right spot. And they connected there and picked up a first down. Great. Mike 51. And defense. And defense. Let's go. Rush in. Rush in. Ready? They'll run on first down. It's white. And not much to speak of there. Maybe a yard down to the 20. Well, they had that one sniffed out. Excellent run blitz. Stopped that one for a short gain. What makes a good run blitz a good run blitz? The ability to stay on task, to follow up your assignment, go to the gap you're supposed to cover, and not be deterred by anything else. To throw on second down, Daniels setting up the screen for Cook. The Cardinal passing game dialed in now. First down. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers, tight ends, because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. Ready, ready. They'll run with Cook. And he'll take it into the end zone. Touchdown, Atlanta. A great effort there with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Cardinals have taken the lead. And there you go. Nothing really too complex. Block, keep your assignments, let them run it in. They did it. Fundamental football. Good blocking. Beats good tackling on that play. And result, touchdown. Out comes the kicking team here for the extra point. And he's got it. It's now a 14-7 ball game. So that drive consumes nine plays all told. And it's capped off by a touchdown run of six yards. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. This is taken at his four. And not a bad return here. He gets it out to the 25-yard line. Here comes the field general leading his offense back out there for the next possession. Been a decent start for him here in this first half, but bottom line, his team's losing. They got to fix something. And it starts with him. He has to keep that little quarterback strut going right now to make sure that his team sees him as confident. Continue to try and up his game, but just let him know, hey, if I'm around, if I'm the one calling signals and throwing the football, just follow me. We'll get there. Sometimes that will do more to elevate a team than anything else. See if he has that confidence. Well, here's a good way to kick off a drive complete over the middle. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. A good play there as the Browns strike for 16 and a first down. One play has him up past the 40 already, and another first and 10. They're not ready for this. They still play soccer. Now Jones from the gun. He'll throw. And it's a short one here, complete to his tight end. Yeah, he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down, second and right at a yard. 
I know exactly what's going to be said about that play from the defensive perspective. What's that? That's why I tell all you guys we need more than one tackler to the ball. He broke the first tackle. Luckily enough, there are more people there to get him down. That last catch short of the marker by just a yard leaves him with a very manageable second and one. And he'll get it down to the 47 here. Two yards, good enough for a first. Second and one, and people want to run the football. This is where every back in the league is supposed to do exactly what we just saw there. Pick up the first down. Ready, ready. We're going 25 to Mike. I got you. I got you. Ready. On first down, Jones. Wide open receiver complete. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. A good pick up there, 21 yards. I think it all came together there. In-breaking route, drove it with excellent pace. Money throw right there to move the sticks. It's right. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, this big defensive lineman will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. I got it. They keep it on the ground. This time it's Davis. And he still has yet to get on track in this first half as they're going to stop him behind the line. Another example right there how this defense really is winning the entire game at the point of attack. Yeah, right there at the line of scrimmage because they are dominating. It allows their interior guys to get upfield and spill into the backfield. So how are you going to combat that? You know, people say bring in your tight end, keep him in. Your running backs, they have to step forward. Bottom line, your offensive line has to block them first to give yourself a chance. Jones now, off play action. That is caught at the seven. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. I know many people like to throw to the tight end, maybe in a little flexed out position because he creates mismatches with his size. But slot receivers do the same thing with their quickness, their speed, and their route running savvy. struggling to understand a little bit that close to the goal line first down run the football if you want to throw it throw some play action on second down moved back to the 10 they'll try on second and goal here They'll run with Davis. And he will maneuver his way down to about the seven. It's a pickup of three, but still a little work to do on third and goal. Well, they certainly had success throwing the ball on this drive and not as much running it as we just saw once again on that last play. Stopped after a very short gain. But I wouldn't abandon the run totally because otherwise, pass rushers just tee off on your quarterback. Makes it very, very difficult for him in that situation. Looking to throw. Jones and he goes backwards on this one losing yardage to the seven it'll be a loss of a yard and that'll bring up fourth down and never good on a pass completion there to go the wrong way lost yardage no for some reason it seems to work better when you throw it downfield or you <laughs> move the ball downfield running it that way doesn't it but in this case if you're the defensive guys you're energized executed well and you caused a lost yardage play that's going to feel good and look great in film Back down to four now at 14 10. 
So the field goal there caps what winds up to be an 11 play drive. Well, partner, that's a lot of offense to run there to only get three points. I just wonder, are they going to recycle those plays because they were successful in getting three? Or do you go to another section of the playbook trying to find ones that get you to the end zone, get you six? The lead cut to just four as they kick it away and turn things over to their D. This is taken at his four. And he'll get it up to about the 26-yard line just across the 25. The Cardinal offense now making their way back out onto the field. They've got the lead and certainly a big reason why some of these catches we take a look at right now. And I've seen it so many times that when units start to play really well, they feed off of each other and play even better. And they're making every catch possible. Contested, non-contested, easy, difficult, big-time plays. And right now, that's why their team's in the lead. Ready to go with their next drive and at the line, the Cardinal offense. Now, right now, they're saying, hey, let's keep this going. Two drives, two touchdowns. Yeah, can't ask for a better start than that, can you? I mean, this is the way you practice it. This is the way you rehearse it. But right now, the play calling, they're locked in really well. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. Back to the ground. This time, Cook. And he'll be limited to a short gain up to about the 34-yard line. Give him three on the play, and that'll lead here to a third down. Well, so many times we look at a short run, and we praise the offense for trying to set the tempo and establish things, but the defensive guys, hey, they just won the battle there. It wasn't a big run given up. They don't always have to absorb the body blow. Sometimes they dish them out themselves. He gets this one into the hands of Dalvin Cook. Now the Browns will use the first of their three timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Here comes the Cardinals punter now as he's on a punt for the first time this afternoon. And a nice job here to down this one right on the five-yard line. That is how you flip field position. That's an absolute bomb of a punt. Downs it inside the five-yard line. Absolutely ideal. From that position, you're hoping to get it down inside the 15, inside the five. Superb. And Tampa Bay trots out there now. Now the question, what do you do here? Time, not really an issue. You got over a minute. But you figure from this spot, you'd need a good 50, 60 yards to even consider a field goal try. Yeah, so there's optimism there, but there's also a little bit of restraint, right? You got to make sure you don't take a sack here. Don't end up in the end zone. Ball gets stripped. You could give up two points in that occasion or maybe even six if you can't get on it and recover it yourself. So make sure you protect the guy throwing the football if indeed that's the plan of attack. They'll run on first down. It's Pierce. And from the four, they get it to the eight on a pickup of four. And that's frustrating for a defense because they've got them pinned down deep. And on the first play, they give up a run that keeps an offense on schedule. Yeah, because three to four yards, that's all you're looking for right there, right? That's absolutely perfect, really, as a play call. You get three to four yards on first down, that's what they talk about to us all the time, about being ahead of the chains or on target, ahead of schedule. They were after that run. And he works it across the 25 before being tackled. Big yardage there for the Browns, 18. Right after the turnover, they come out throwing. And that means it's a sudden change situation. We used to practice it on defense. Sudden change, get out there, stop the offense. But you typically run out there a little bit unsettled. I think that's why he came right out throwing the football, hoping to catch him off balance. And he did. First down now, but the clock continues to move. 
Jones on first and 10. Going down the middle, and it's complete. And they work this well upfield across the 45. A good pick up there, 21 yards. You know I'm going to lean towards the defender, right? You know I'm going to do that. I know. That's a tough situation for him as I see it. But the truth of the matter is, that ball was not streaking towards him. Had a little arc on it. He's got to find a way to get his head around and make a play on the football. First down now, but that clock rolling. Hey, 25 to the mic. We got 25 to the Here's Jones throwing on first down. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Well, the incompletion, yes, but maybe here not the worst thing in the world? No, not on first and 10. Actually gives them a chance to regroup, relax just a little bit. They huddle up, talk it over. Then they get a chance to continue their drive. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. Now Jones throwing again. It's a short one here, complete to the tight end. And he's able to get this one down to the 40-yard line. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Cardinals 40. And with that completion, he's now north of 200 yards here in the first half. Boy, a tough start for the secondary defensively. It is, and it's got to put a dent in their confidence. And, you know, you always want to keep that up and feel like you can always bounce back after plays. But with the kind of numbers he's putting up here, it's starting to wear on them a little bit, I think. So they're looking at each other and trying to figure out what defense will work and how can they play better without getting beat deep for big passes. The Browns try to get back and set quickly here. Time ticking away. On first and 10, Jones. Looking downfield, and that's caught right side. He's got his man. The Browns will quickly use their third and final timeout as they stop it with 16 seconds to go in half number one. This quarterback now... 13 of 15 passing. That's good for 87%. It's first and 10. They'll find Henderson there. It's complete. And stopped a few yards shy of the goal line at the three. 12 more yards there and another first down. So it's first and goal and a great opportunity to get that lead back before the break. Jones now. A final shot before break. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. So with one second left in the half, on is the field goal unit. From the right hash here, should be an easy one. And this one is right through. And that will do it for this first half. So a very tight first half. We had to break in a one-point game. As we'll head down to Orlando, that's where we find our man Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, right, Brandon. Thanks very much. And welcome in, everyone, to this slimmed-down version of the EA Sports Halftime Report. This one has the look of a game that could very well go down to the wire. Just one point separating these two clubs at the break. But they're ready for the second half, and we are too, as we'll kick it right back out to Brandon and Charles. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. The Cards with the lead, and they will get this football first as the second half gets started. This one fielded at the 5. And he'll take this across the 25, a couple extra yards, up to the 27-yard line. So here's the Cardinals' offense now as they get set to start this third quarter. They have the lead. Now they'll be looking to extend that lead. And this is where I enjoy talking about one of my favorite 
favorite subjects, tendency breakers, or counters as I also like to call them. You've done things in a certain way in the first half, and they've had ability to see what you've done. They're going to make their adjustments. So guess what? You adjust yourself and try and stay ahead of the pace because you are looking for some separation in this ball game. The adjustment to the adjustment. Without a doubt. <laughs> Show them one thing, hit them with something else. Yeah, give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. When we see those runs to the perimeter, when we see those runs to the edge, we think about big breakers, don't we? In this case, it was a modest gain, but it does open up possibilities here on second down. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. They keep it on the ground, wide again. And he'll be tackled just past the 35 at the 36. It's a five-yard gain, but they'll still be a yard short here with third down now looming. They're trying to show that they can run the ball and protect this lead. Give it to the backs, play a little bit of keep away, don't you think? And that's probably a good philosophy at this point, going to make that defense stand up and stop them. They'll try to pick this up on the ground with White. And he's got the first down yardage before he's brought down at the 42. Give him six yards in the first down. I think they like this drive a little bit better there, partner. Running game helping out, picking up some of the slack. Because remember the last drive, they went three and out. ceases to amaze me because you would think there would never be a fumble from what we hear from coaches all the time, right? And how much they practice not fumbling. Practice it, preach it, talk about it all the time. You would think no one would ever turn it over. Yet they are humans out there running around and we just saw another one. Opportunistic by the defense. of a full three yards on first down. <laughs> gotta love the catch. I think you gotta love the gloves as well. <laughs> yeah, these one-handed catches, that was great, and they're fun. They're becoming a little more ho-hum, aren't they? Yeah, they really are, and I know that it sounds like we're taking credit away from the guys, and we don't mean that at all. They really work hard on this one-handed catch thing, but I think the gloves have to be helping in a big way. The loss of three on that first down pass play. Now second and 13. On the draw, this is Davis. Absolutely nobody fooled there. He's going nowhere fast as he stopped behind the line of scrimmage. It'll be a loss of one. And they're going to be staring at a third and long here. Up front, the struggles continue for this offense among the line. What can they do? Change the play calling? What? I think part of that, yes, changing some of the play calls, some screens, some draws, some misdirection. You want to run any type of a play that will influence these guys and continue to get upfield and find a way to use that against them and slip things in behind them. So some quick passes could work as well. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And down he goes. A coverage sack. Took too long to get rid of it. I don't think there could have been a better pocket for him to throw from. Yet he never got rid of the football, and it goes down as a sack. I mean, he, he had time to build a campfire back there. <laughs> he still couldn't get rid of it. I'll bring the s'mores next time. <laughs> Now 
The Browns send out their punter now. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. And this one hits at the one, continues on into the end zone for a touchback. Here comes the Atlanta offense now ready to take over here. And last drive, obviously not what you're looking for. You've got the lead. You've got to protect the football. So in other words, someone got lucky because they've been moving the ball really well and wearing them down. In this case, though, giving up the football doesn't make them very happy. They can't wait to get back out there and atone for it. Yeah, try to atone for it here on this drive. Ready, ready. 15, one, 15, one. They start to drive with White, and he is brought down at the 22 after a gain of two, and it brings up second down. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, those big defensive linemen will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. From the 22, here's second and eight. Now Cook, he's got it off the draw. And he'll get this one up to the 26. Three yards on the pickup. That's going to set up an interesting third and about four to go. Tough first half for him. Unable to put up the numbers he's used to producing. But with a guy like him, you and I both know it just takes a couple of explosive touches for him to make an impact on this game and on the stat sheet as well. Off play action. Daniels. They'll tussle for it, and this is going to be caught. That goes for 14 yards, first down Cardinals. The catch, deservedly so, is going to get a lot of credit, but even more so because there's a defender there ready to make a play. Yeah, just flat out muscled on that one. Daniels nowhere to escape and he goes down and plays like that really hurt play calling they had a really nice gain on the previous play but gave about half the yardage back on the sack excellent pressure up front nowhere to go with the football down he goes So that complicates things a bit here. 18 yards to go now on second down. Back to throw. Daniels. Throwing left side here, and it's complete. And he's going to be taken down here with a penalty flag on the field. So a decent gain, but all for naught on the penalty. It's too bad, isn't it? They were feeling pretty good about it. The only people celebrating, the guys who just gave up that play. Now they face a second and long following the holding penalty. Cook following the penalty. And he's upended after a gain of four up to the 25-yard line. In the first half, he was held in check on the ground, but despite that lack of production, they still have the lead. Yeah, and they've got to feel fortunate about that. If they could actually get production from their lead horse, that would help open up this Man, offense and widen this margin, too. Indy. Throwing on third and long, Daniels. And that one drops incomplete as he got popped as he was throwing it. You got it. You got it. Are we on the same page here, partner? Because I think they have the right idea. Just take what you can get on third and forever. Yeah, in real life, I'd say yes. It's just these video games are tempting. You want to go downfield with it. I like the way you've evolved. Yeah. You know, you've learned how to play it the Madden way. Here comes the Cardinals punter now as he'll kick it away for the second time.
Now it's right. Give him 11 yards that time on the return. And the Browns will take over first and 10. Here comes the Tampa Bay offense now heading back out onto the field. And a tight game after punting last time. See if they can get something going on this drive. As they head to the field now, with the game this close, you've got to feel there's a sense of urgency for them going on offense right now. But they have to do it without letting panic creep in and affect their play. Jones off the bootleg. Oh, a battle for it here, and this will be caught. And he's taken down right at the 45-yard line. A very solid gain of 27. So in the Cardinal territory now. It's first and 10 at the 45-yard line. It's Davis on the counter. And they're going to get him behind the line yet again as his nightmare afternoon continues. Call that a gain of five as the clock ticks inside of two minutes to go now in the third. Sometimes with the running game, you've just got to stick with it. Look, it's the third quarter, no time to panic. But that also doesn't mean you just do it the same way you've been doing it the entire ball game. Maybe change up some blocking assignments or run a few different plays, but stay with the overall essence of the running game. There's a throw over the middle. It's taken in by his tight end. And he's going to get it down to the 33-yard line here. Seven yards there and a first down. Completion was given up, but that's why you play zone defense, so that you can have people around the ball when it's caught, and you don't give up much run after the catch. This quarterback now nearing the 300-yard mark with still a quarter to play. It's first and 10. Here's Davis now. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. Now, they struggled to get him rolling on the ground in the first half, and that's sort of continuing here in the third quarter. Yeah, but I don't think it's time to abandon the running game. I would say keep feeding the horse, and I believe he'll eventually reward them, especially as we get deeper in the game. From the 31, Jones. Looking left sideline, but it's incomplete. Let's give some credit to the defensive guys on that play. Able to bat that one away. Sure looked like they were trying to hit the corner route. Now they got to get to the 23 here on third. Here's Jones operating from the gun. And this time he's got the hookup. It's complete. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. The Browns passing game finding its stride. They've got another first down. And with that last play, he's now up over that 300-yard mark. And in today's NFL, it almost feels routine. And I hate that when you talk about a 300-yard passing game. To me, 300 yards still signifies excellence, and he's achieved that in this performance. This quarterback now over 300 yards now for the game, and time to improve on that as he's got a first and 10. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. And he's got it. Got his man on the end route. Complete. And he's brought down just outside of the 10 at the 11. A good pickup of six there on first down. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made a nice easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. And this should be the final play before the quarter ends. Looking to throw again on second down. Jones. And that would not to be. It's incomplete. So they couldn't hook up as time has now run out on this third quarter of play. And we're back now here in Cleveland. This one's still anybody's ball game. It's a one-point difference here as we begin the fourth quarter of play.
The Browns on third down. They've hit it 50%, three of six to this point. This is third and four. Now Jones from the gun, he'll throw. And he's got it. Caught in the end zone. Touchdown, Tampa Bay. An 11-yard touchdown. And once again, the Browns are back in front. A lot of people might call this backyard football. Sometimes just understanding who you've got out wide and who you're going to throw it to. Give him an opportunity to go up and make a play, even when contested. Looks like that one worked out pretty well. The trust factor, in effect. Here we go. The Browns will go for two. Operating from the gun, Jones. And he's got it. So the two-point conversion is good, and they add on to their fourth-quarter lead. So they elect to pass there on the two-point try. Sometimes can prove risky there. It worked out. Yeah, and I love how you bring up that it can prove risky because if you get it intercepted and they return it, that's two points for the defense, but not on that play. the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. This is taken at his four. Then he'll take this across the 25, a couple extra yards up to the 27-yard line. The Cardinals offense now works their way back onto the field. And on the last go-around, they really couldn't get anything going. They had to punt from deep inside their own territory, which means they're going to lose the field position battle as a general rule. What they're looking for now is a little more consistency, move the ball at least a few times on offense, get a couple of first downs, and hopefully flip the field. Yeah, just something to build off of. That's what they're looking for here. Come on, set, eight, three. Throwing on first down, Daniels. Toward the left sideline, but it's incomplete. Had an open man that time. They end up putting a little too much heat on it, don't you think, partner? Absolutely. Just needed a touch more air under it. Instead, he fired an absolute bullet. Down. Second and 10 Nine now from the 27. Heavy, heavy on the edges. Heavy on the edges. <laughs> to throw again. Daniels. And a quick throw here. That's complete. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. They're tackling them almost on the spot. That means they have to run extra plays, harder to move it. The Cardinals on third down. They've been very good, five for seven thus far. This will be third and five. Looking to throw, Daniels. And he will find his man on the end route, complete. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 12 yards there as they keep this drive rolling. It's another first down. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it, so it's not that big of a deal to me, and I'm going to keep firing. The drive continues as they search for a tying touchdown. Here's first and ten. From the gun, Daniels. And nowhere to fit that football in. It's knocked away and incomplete. And that's one he's got to be happy to have back. There wasn't a hole open in the zone. You'd have to think on early downs like that first down there, need to be a little bit more careful. Yeah, fortunately for him, got a couple more downs to play with. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Go, go, go. Get it. Throwing again. Daniels. And a little floater there, but it'll wind up incomplete, falling to the ground. And now offensively it's third and ten. And I'm just thinking to myself, actors always say, what's my motivation before a big scene? Right now the play caller's thinking, 
what have I done before that's worked well that I can go to right now? Yeah, because they were pretty successful in the first half scoring points. Haven't done anything so far here in the second half. Back to throw. Daniels. And this is Cook with the grab. And he can only manage to get this to the 45-yard line. Well short of the first. They'll get a couple yards on that one. And it'll be fourth down. One hallmark of good defenses is understanding the game, understanding positioning, and tackling immediately in the secondary after catches. I think we just saw that on display right there. Got to him before he ever had a chance to think about turning it upfield. Here comes the Cardinals punter now as he's on to kick it away. And the kick's away as he angles this one for the sideline. And the punt over the side in the air, and the spot will be inside the 35. And Tampa Bay trots out there now. And that last drive, a long drive, but not just that. They had a great air attack going. Do they stick with that? I would think that they would because if they were confident enough to do it on the last drive, starting backed up in their own territory, why would you change anything? They've got to be confident about what they're presenting and continue to do so. Yeah, because the secondary, they really look clueless. And that was amazing because that drive went and went. No adjustments and no big plays by the defense to knock the ball away. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Before the game, they were running the route tree about as efficiently and effectively as we could have possibly imagined. But sometimes the passes just go awry. Yeah, let's face it. When you're running the route tree in pregame, you don't have defenders breathing down your neck. You don't have defensive backs making plays on the football. Hard to replicate the intensity of the game in pregame. To throw again on second down, Jones. And he comes back with one complete. And he goes out right around the 39. Another nice pickup through the air. And I think a lot of people might expect them to run the ball in this situation, Brandon. But with this lead, they're electing to throw the football. Swings, slants, quick outs, things that they consider safe. The Browns on third down. They've hit four of seven. This is third and four. Jones now operating from the gun. And he's got his man on the out route. And he brings this up to the 46, good enough for the first. Seven catches for him now in this last one, a first down. He's been the go-to guy. They needed a big play there on third down, went his way, it worked out. Doesn't matter whether they've scouted it or that they think he's going to get the ball. He has a knack for finding his way open and completing the connection. Jones throwing over the middle but it's incomplete didn't have a receiver open downfield and as it turned out couldn't even find his outlet man because of the coverage of way too tight unable to find anyone open after the incomplete pass here now is second and ten Jones to throw again it's a short one here, complete to his tight end. And down he goes at the 45 after a pickup of nine. And they'll get nine there as that sets him up better for third down. Let's not quibble about the game there on second down. That was a positive play because that was a take-what-you-can-get situation. Got out to the tight end. Now it gives him a much better opportunity to convert on third down. Came up a little short on the last pass play. They did get nine yards out of it, leaving him with his third and one. Looking to throw, Jones. Oh, there's that man again, it's complete. Just what the Browns needed there, good for a gain of 17. Well, probably the only thing he did wrong there was go out of bounds, nursing this fourth quarter lead. You wanna stay in, eat the clock. Yeah, you gotta love the effort, the catch, the extra yardage, but you gotta know the situation. Stay in bounds, young man. Favorite target yet again. It's complete. 
And he's able to get it down to the 25-yard line. The completion good for three, and it's second down. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. On second down, Davis. They get him to the ground right on the cusp of the red zone after a pickup of five or six. Despite the blitz, they're still able to pick up a nice, solid gain. The disadvantage of blitzing often alters the normal spacing and run fits and leaves creases like they were able to exploit right there. Here we go, third and one. Gut check time on both sides. They'll run it again here with Davis. And he will lose yardage and be backed up to the 24. A rough go there on third down, a loss of four. He continues to struggle to find a crease to break off a big one and might need to just put that aside and just try and ram his way forward and get what he can. So on fourth down, out trots the kicker in a big spot here. This to make it a two-score game. And his kick is right there. It's good. And that will push the lead up to double digits now at 10. So that's a big one. Obviously, Charles makes it a two-score game. His third field goal of the game, able to knock it through. Yeah, not exactly free and clear yet, but as a defense... You get to play a little bit looser, don't you? Because you do now have a little bit of a margin of error, don't you? Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. This is fielded at the goal line. And he'll get it up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. Let's go. Atlanta now coming out on the field. And down on the scoreboard, certainly needing to avoid what happened on the last drive, punting the football. Sense of urgency has to take over for them here. They know the score. They know the situation. And by the way, the punter no longer exists for their <laughs> offense. That's how they have to treat this drive. They need points. Big time. Hit it. Check back, 11. Check back, 11. Check back, check back. Deep grip. Deep grip. On first and 10, Daniels. And they will not get the connection there. It's incomplete. Got out of the pocket. Didn't look like he had anybody open, Charles, so just gets rid of it. And a good play by him. If no one's open and you don't have a running lane that you want to take, make the right choice. Get rid of it. Live to fight another down. So after the incompletion, second and 10 from the 22. To throw again, Daniels. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Well, there was second long, now it's third and even longer. They're going in the wrong direction here. Because they're moving exactly the way they want to, but you're exactly right. Definitely going in the wrong direction for the offensive guys. The Cardinals on third down. Six conversions and nine tries. They've done a great job of picking these up. This is third and 17. Back to throw. Daniels. And that is incomplete.
If you're a defender, one of the fun things about playing zone defenses, especially in today's football, is that it's not as static as it was in the good old days, meaning you just dropped to a point and reacted to the football. Now you end up with a lot of man-to-man -man principles once you get into your zone defense. In other words, get to your assignment and then locate a guy coming into your area, and then you end up covering him almost man for man. That allows him to make more plays on the football like the one we just saw there. Looking, he's got a man complete. And they work this well upfield across the 45. The time to pull out the stops is now, and they convert there on fourth down. I know we love our jobs, and pretty much any play we see, we're pretty, you know, excited about. But big plays, let's face it, that's what we absolutely live for. How about that one? That was great. And what our camera missed was the fist pump from the sideline after that catch. They're fired out. That's a big game. Well, they don't need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. Let's see if they do 